The central nervous system, the brain and nerves, control when and how often a person needs to urinate. In order for a person to urinate normally, the bladder muscle and the nervous system must communicate with each other through special types of nerves. When the bladder is full, one type of nerve tells the bladder to squeeze down and empty the urine. On the other hand, when the bladder is empty, this nerve is quiet so that the bladder can relax and fill up with urine. These nerves work by causing the muscles in the wall of the bladder to contract. When these muscles contract, the bladder becomes smaller and urine is emptied. A second type of nerve tells the nervous system that the bladder is filling up with urine and that it is time to urinate. A third kind of nerve tells the nervous system when the bladder is irritated by infection or other problems. Normally, these nerves are quiet because in a normal bladder, there isn't any irritation. Overactive bladder is a common problem that can cause people to have distressing symptoms, such as inability to hold urine, difficulty with emptying the bladder completely, frequent urination, or painful urination. Overactive bladder medications mainly work on the bladder muscle. Interstim therapy works in a different way because it works on the nerves that control the bladder. During this procedure, a soft wire is placed underneath the skin near the tailbone and then is connected to an external test stimulator that may be worn on a belt. The patient experiences the effects of sacral nerve stimulation during the at-home test period. If the patient's test stimulation results show improvement of overactive bladder symptoms, the patient may go on to have a separate procedure so that the soft wire can be connected to a neurostimulator that is implanted underneath the skin in the upper buttock. The neurostimulator is a small device that looks very similar to a heart pacemaker. It works much in the same way as a pacemaker by sending mild electrical pulses through the soft wire. Most patients tolerate the procedure well. Results may vary. Ask your doctor if interstim therapy is right for you.